What's going on YouTube? Welcome to day two of the chord of the day uh, where we're going to learn. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. We're going to learn a chord every day. Uh, if you missed the video yesterday, well, you're in luck because it was the first video in the series. Uh, so take a moment, uh, hop on over to my channel after this video, watch that first video. You'll be completely caught up in the series. So today's chord is E dominant seventh sus four. Uh, shortened version is just E nine sus four. I think I said seven. It's it's actually a nine chord uh, because uh, it's got an F sharp in it. Anyhow, let's uh, let's see how how we're playing it here. We're starting. It's an E chord, so we're playing six string open, right? Playing that E. Then we're gonna play our first fretted note is gonna be third finger on the twelfth fret of the A string, right? The A note, and there's our sus note. Take it down a half step. You can kind of hear that sus resolution. We're gonna play open D. Then the only other note that we're going to fret in this chord is the 11th fret on the G string uh, with our uh, ring finger. I really like this positioning. Leaves your index finger open uh, to play notes down here. And it also, you know, you got, you got both sides of the neck kind of covered. You know, if you want to add notes in, like I said in the last video experiment, add things in. Whatever, okay? So... Uh, and here's a rhythm I really like. Um, this is um, dominant chords tend to be jam out chords. Uh, this one isn't an exception. So I like sliding it up a half step, as you can see that I did there. Uh, just, just taking it up a half step. All right. Well, that was the chord of the day. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you try it out. Uh, please like the video. Subscribe. Um, comments and questions are welcome. I'll answer them.